that they are, because that is a historical period, they called a quiet revolution taking place. And there's a new uh, things will come up, but uh, I would like to take in my story first. <coughs> so, this is how. Uh, when, when I was there, <coughs> uh, so the, um, I'm going to uh, tell a true life story about ordinary village, Chinese villages the, and their econo uh, e economic development. It goes flatly against what many people suppose is the power of the Chinese Communist Party. In the 1980s, uh, the Kaichengong village collective has, uh, uh, had managed the, the, its enterprises as part of the South Jiangsu model. We see the picture of the South Jiangsu model, uh, which plays a leading role in Chinese economic development. So that's how it looks like the collective. And then <coughs> the South Jiangsu model, model mainly is encourage development of the village and country enterprises uh, at the uh, expenses of uh, private development, including restrictions of the size of uh, private uh, workshops. So this is the uh, first floor workshop demolished by local government because uh, the, to contrast uh, the, the, the uh, collective run enterprise, private uh, uh, business has to be restricted in that time. And there are some private business, but they don't call it private, they call it um, uh, family business. So by the end of 1996, the collective for enterprises went bankrupt with enormous debt. An equipment, uh, equivalent of nearly 18,000 yuan per household. Meanwhile, uh, nearly, um, okay, the, the nearby villagers, they were uh, uh, blossoming under the policies inspired by Deng Xiaoping's famous slogan, <coughs> Uh, let some get rich first. Even if it means walking on the capitalist road, Kaishengong was trapped as a focus village of the South Jiangsu model. So the bankruptcy uh, war, like uh, the last straw, angry villagers planned to appreciate some equipment from the failed enterprises. The gates of the local government, uh, the, uh, the township government, was closed for several days for fear of violence. So, how it turned out? Village wanted their, their chance to get rich first, as they saw elsewhere, and lobbied quiet, quietly with Professor Fei Xiaotong who is the author of the book, Peasant's Life of China, and also the uh, policy maker of some terms of model, the model, model. Yeah. <coughs> um, <coughs> So that is how, when Fei Chaotung back to the village, how people brought him to a wonderful family business to discuss the things need to be changed. Um, the village also, uh, made its own choice for new general secretary of CCP branch of the village, the number, number one figure positions in the village. And this person was Zhou Yuguan, the owner of the workshop, which was pulled down by local government. He was not even a party member, and flatteries refused to join. So how could he be effectively the managing director of the village? The local government and the party committee found a way to accept a village's choice. Zhou was appointed as a head of a rural economic cooperative, but with additional condition in bracket, in charge of everything. As far as the villagers and the uh, village colors were concerned, this 
meant that the non-party member was now party secretary Zhou, uh, Zhou Shuji. So uh, they addressed him as such. Even 10 years later, when I was in the village, the new village head still publicly uh, referred to him as party secretary Zhou. <coughs> So, under Joe's seven years leadership, the village developed rapidly. This can be seen in two ways. One is the, on the one hand, from construction point of view, from this way. <coughs> uh, the top photo uh, has been, uh, uh, was taken in 1996 when I was there. Uh, the first floor was pulled down. And uh, so you can see that is the place being pulled down. And the second floor was taken in 2000, 2000. And then they put back the floor and also the additional workshop from the left. <coughs> so um, this, this is a, you know, the sign of development, which is in 2005 and 2008 when I was there. So a lot of houses they built, if we remember, in 1996, the landscape. And all these houses are quite simple structures, but now they made a second generation house or third generation house with much grander because they have money, more money to spend on that. <coughs> and 2010, just a few months ago, a few weeks ago actually, to uh, commemorate the 100 years uh, of Fei Zhao Tong's birth, uh, with support, uh, support from the local government, they built a statue of Fei Zhao Tong. And the way how the village always turn their local heroes into local gods. So that's the how the way they, they do, instead of putting to the temple, uh, putting the uh, next to the museum of the uh, catching room. <coughs> so, uh, on the other hand, in village's words, say, um, the new government policy understood their hearts and the feelings, Tong Qing Da Li. Okay. The Chinese phrase Tong Qing Da Li is usually translated in English as a stand for two cents. But this omit is important contextual meanings. Uh, the element of a chain of the character Tong Qing Da Li relates to sympathetic sharing of human feelings. And the, the element of Li, of Dali, is the same as Li of Dongli, meaning two parties reach an understanding morally and rationally. This outcome had, had been achieved in a very Chinese manner to a villagers uh, Great, uh, great gratification. They uh, described it as uh, uh, the will of the gods, which is uh, another way of saying that uh, their traditional methods of getting their own ways were successful because they were right and uh, proper. Here, morality, human feelings, rational calculations. Spiritual beliefs that like turn him into God, that sort of thing, all being involved, working together. Uh, so, this kind of, I call it uh, Li Shang Wang Lai, okay? Li, uh, uh, Li Shang criteria, including these four things. <coughs> so, what does Guanxi, Guanxi and Li Shangwang like? So, because Guanxi has been the most widely understood and the prevalent uh, uh, reference, reference uh, the, uh, the, the form described Chinese society from the West, um, so my empirical study of social support. Uh, shows at least uh, 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 that there are uh, one, just only one quarter of the act actions 